Uh, hi, everybody. Welcome. I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about the pandemic proof certifications here at New Horizons and maybe help talk to you a little bit about some of the IT career paths that you could choose to help with your career goals and maybe help I can answer any kind of questions that you're thinking about before joining into a career in IT. Um, so the average salary range for some of these top certifications is anywhere from 41000 to 98000 uh, That was pulled off pay scale from 2020. Um, some of the IT career paths that you could choose from is help desk, software development, IT network, cloud-based design, some cybersecurity is really in demand right now. And we also have some project and office management available as well. So the first one I wanted to talk a little bit about was the CompTIA A+. CompTIA is a very well-recognized name in the IT industry. Uh, they do a lot of entry-level certifications. So the CompTIA A+, is your basic entry-level into the computer system itself. You'll be learning a lot about the hardware and the software of the system within the hardware, about the motherboard, speed, memory, how to upgrade it. Um, within the software, a lot of uh, troubleshooting, configuring, how to uh, troubleshoot between printer, laptop, computer, those kinds of things. But this is this is your basic entry level. If you're thinking about getting involved in IT without having any kind of background, this certification will definitely help you get your foot in the door and uh, get well recognized by a lot of companies out there. Um, after doing a quick search of some of the job openings out in the Tucson area. This is what I came up with right off the bat. Um, there are some salary figures there for you to look at as well um, within system administrator, IT service, help desk, technician, technician support. Um, but this will be a great way to get your foot in the door with that certification, start getting some experience, get a nice job, um, and then maybe even have the possibility of the company paying for more and more certifications for your training. Um, a lot of companies out there have IT budgets set aside for you that will be able to um, help continue your education, continue your growth within the company. Um, this is great. This means job security for you. I mean, if they're paying a lot of money for you to go get the next level certifications, they're not going to be laying you off anytime soon. Um, networking. Uh, networking is a great way to go. Cisco um, runs most of the networking certifications. Networking is how computers talk to each other. They use a series of routers and switches to be able to communicate. Um, those routers and switches can need to be protected. So there's a little bit of cybersecurity in it as well. But uh, I see our CCNA and CCNP, um, Network Administrator and, and Network Professional are two top level certifications within Cisco. I'm doing a quick search on the jobs within uh, Networking Administrator, you're looking at senior network engineer, senior network administrator, IT support engineer, um, all these jobs go around the whole networking frame. Cybersecurity information security. Um, this is a great path that's really in demand right there. It's really great for veterans who have security clearances already, but uh, you can, as you can see, CompT is on there again for your entry level into cybersecurity. Security Plus is your basic security compliances, uh, password enablement, stuff like that. Next levels up are CEH, the Certified Ethical Hackers, CISP, um, CHFI, which is a uh, forensic investigator. Those kind of certifications will help move you up to the top tier levels of certification within cybersecurity. So more job fields out there in the Tucson area for cybersecurity, as you can see, the salary range is based off there, technical support analyst, field technician support. Um, there's some DOD companies out there, a great way to go within cybersecurity. Um, some more defense technology. It's really in demand out there right now. Uh, business professional certifications. Uh, not every IT position requires a high level of technical knowledge. There are business uh, processes and projects that need to be managed. Um, Six Sigma, Six Sigma Green Belt, Six Sigma Black Belt. These are the efficiencies behind a business on how you can help approve them and how you can help save the company money, um, how to cut down on some of the accidents that they could be having. So basically when a company rolls out a new project, they'll bring in some Six Sigma or PMP certified professionals to say, okay, this is the fastest way to do it. This is the safest way to do it. This is the most cost-effective way to do it. So those kind of certifications can help land you into a great role within project management. Here are some of the job postings out in the uh, Tucson area for business management professionals. Um, there is not so much salary posted on these, but there is a lot of positions open, um, again, with DOD and the airspace industry. Uh, cohort and career certifications, we're enrolling weekly. Uh, we do have a lot of students that are enrolling in these. They are four hours a day, four days a week. So Monday through Thursday, 
uh, you'll be able to get at the end of a 14 or 16 week program. You could have multiple certifications stacked up and be able to get out into the job force. Uh, the ITNSS is the Information Technology Network Support Track. We have entry level for this with the A plus and the Security plus and Network plus and basically your entry level to opening the door. Um, the DAEL and DAL2 are your data analyst tracks um, going down to the Microsoft SQL levels. I'm um, gaining some of those certifications as well. Um, these are some pictures of some of our students studying remotely. So right now, New Horizons is doing everything remotely. Instructors are streamed through a web camera. They're presenting their screen towards you, as you can see in some of the pictures on a double monitor setup. It makes it more efficient because you're able to follow along with the instructor inside a virtual lab environment. You could be going over some activities. If you get stuck or lost, the instructor actually monitors the lab so they can take control of your mouse. Kind of helps show you where you got lost there. So it's great technology that we're using here at New Horizons. And I hope I was able to teach you something about some IT certifications.